You change your lives, man. Yo, what's up, guys? I am here in Tampa getting my hairline tattoo redone. We're getting a permanent fade. I'm with my boy, Doug. You know the vibes. His social going to be right here. Social media. Go check him out. Anybody that wants the update, this is how it's looking. The timestamp will be on screen. Right now, doesn't matter how it's looking. We're going to get a permanent fade. I'm super excited to see how it's going to turn out. Let's get right to it. We got some indoor lighting. In case y'all want to see how it looks. Before we get it uh, updated, let's do it to it. Yeah, here we are. Look at it. What's going on, boss man? How you living? How you been? It's the most famous SP job on YouTube. Oh, stop. Let's get right to it. some density to the top so it looks you know a little darker then we're gonna go you know lighter on as we go down we're gonna get a permanent face let's go look at the cameraman why are you feeling i'm feeling great <laughs> you're yeah, looking great buddy I appreciate it i wouldn't have a hairline tattoo if i had his you feel what i'm saying yeah i don't got the hairline tattoo <laughs> maybe you could get me in here too <laughs> It's a lot different from the first time I came here. He's got three different camera angles he was mentioning, so. But he said he appreciates the YouTube videos, all, everything we've been posting. Excited to get this thing rolling. This room kind of nice. Be chilling in here for now, and then we can get right to it. I posted this video where I tried to shave my head with a Walmart shaver. It did not go well at all. And Jesse said he saw that video, so right here he's trying to teach me how to shave my head properly. But at the time, like I said, I had a Walmart shaver. Now I have a shaver from Vipershaver.com. If you go to Viper Shaver and use code Marthrina12 at checkout, they'll give you 12% off. Anyways, Jesse Lima shaved my beard and stash like a true goat. Then we talked about who could pull off the bald look. Now, I think a lot of people can pull off the bald look, but I feel like if you, if you had a hairline. If Jordan got oh, SMP, bro, you would look so weird. <laughs> I think Jordan's got a great shaved head. Like, it just right, fits. Right, right. I mean, I put the hairline on him. I think it'll work, honestly. We're growing our beard back out, so that's why it's a little stubble right now. Just a little moisturizer. Basically, the aftercare that I gave you. I was just telling buddy to moisturize my head more. That'll help too. That's if you last longer. Y'all heard it here first, man. Moisturize, make the hairline tattoo last longer. Hey, with my lack of care, though, look, it held up. Still look great. You know what I'm saying? I'm at the beach, I'm at the park. Someone just tell y'all, I put some makeup on. You know, my airline have a little dot right here. I think he just wiped it off, so. Damn. In six years I've been doing this, I had one person tap out halfway. Tap out? Procedure. He's like, no, oh, I can't no more, Jess. I can't. The crazy thing, he's tatted from his neck to his toes. Man. Oh, okay. So you got actual tats. Yeah, so I, I don't know how. I only tapped out when I was getting my eyebrows threaded. That I'm like, well, what was paying for? <laughs> I tried to thread my eyebrows. There was a bunch of women, little girls in there. And then one eyebrow in, I said, all right, I'm out, y'all. No, so I got one eyebrow done. Before we take these before photos, 96% of you guys watching my videos aren't subscribed. So if you aren't already, hopefully this is the push you need. Much love. Supermodel for the day. Yeah, <laughs> How long you can't work out after you get this done? Four days. Yeah. Four days you can't Four work days. out. Your... It's because of aftercare. Mm -hmm. So the aftercare gives you heals the skin 40% faster than the skin naturally heals. It's typically it's about a week, seven days, seven to ten days. And then just you want to stay away from sweat. Right, right. You get any type of infection. Mm, nice and comfy. Hey, listen, I'm feeling it. You know what I, mean? I feel like I'm in an airplane right now. First class. First class. <laughs> Make sure I go check out Doug. Man, it's the clutch trophy right now. How's it yeah. feeling? I feel good, man. Relaxed? Yeah, yeah, I feel like I could take a nap here, you know? I woke up early to get here, so. I know that's I right. I might KO. You might lose me halfway through. <laughs> I was 
Yeah, we can, we can run it back. Run it back, run it back, take two. All right, so here you can see, this is a little heavier impressions. Those are from the initial SMP that he got done. So zoom in, you can see all the nice little tiny micro impressions. Those are the ones that I added in there to try to blend everything in to make it look just like the hair stubble. You guys can see all the tiny darker dots. Those are actually his hair follicles right in between there. So that's what I mimicked all through this. And again, at that time he had more hair on top. He had like a one on top. So we we're able to blend into that. You see on the sides how you can still now you can notice these dots. And again, the bigger ones ain't mine. You can see mine. Let me focus in. You see the little tiny ones? <laughs> you see the little tiny dots. Those are the impressions that's supposed to be the size of his actual hair follicles. One of the great things is this guy right here. He's literally the only one on YouTube and all, really on all his social media platforms that's really putting um, SMPs healed results and recovery time and, and, and how everything has been throughout the whole process. So you guys gotta make sure to follow him. We'll go ahead and drop his information here so y'all can check him out as well. But yo, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Him. Not just for for, for his uh, SMP journey, basically, but yo, my man, who, like, he don't look like it. <laughs> Y'all gotta watch the videos. That, that's all I gotta say. I put my money on this guy any day on any court. I'll tell you that right now. I put an SMP job on it. That's real. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that bet any day. Do it. What's, what's one of the best reactions you've ever received after doing a hairline tattoo for somebody? Man, look, I got a client. He lost his hair when he was six years old to alopecia. Lost all of it, eyebrows, everything completely. And around the age of 11, he tried to commit suicide because of all the bullying. As he, you know, started getting in his older years, his hair kind of came back a little bit and he got into bodybuilding. He won Mr. Tennessee a couple years, you know, back to back. So he was, you know, he was, he was feeling himself. Everything was going good. I want to say around the age 20, 21, his hair all fell out again. And he went through like a deep depression over it. He felt like like his career bodybuilding was over because he was just so insecure about the way he looked where he tried to commit suicide again. Good thing he failed both times. Our consultation went on for about two months, bro. Like we talked almost every day about that SMP. He had millions of questions. And when he finally committed to get it done, when he was actually here, it took about a good two and a half hours to even get started because of how, you know, just the trauma that he had with his whole life experience with hair loss. And then, you know, him just, he kept on saying things like, yo, this is like my last option, my last resort to deal with this hair loss thing. So all I heard there was, Jesse, if you fuck up, if you mess up, he's gonna jump out your window. And so I canceled my appointments after him and just, it was just me and him, bro. And when he seen himself, bro, just the, the tears of joy, the happiness, the, the way he felt on that sense of finally, you know, like I could just be me, not worried about the way he looks anymore. So like that to me solidified getting into this industry to help people and to change their lives. six years in that you wish you would have known the first year? Uh, to trust the process of layering these dots and not, you know, oversaturating. Sometimes people think that going darker with the ink is what makes that some people darker. So when I started, I was a barber, so I was a perfectionist. I'm used to cutting somebody's hair and when they're, when I'm done with them and they get out of my chair, they're leaving my chair 100% completely done and perfect. But with SMP, you gotta know when to stop. Like, you're never gonna be 100% done on the first session. It's gonna look it, but you're truly about a good 80 to 90% done. You need to leave room for that second session. So what I do now is I focus on the undertone, which is the color of the hair that's going into the skin. And I wanna create that first. But when everything heals, it's always gonna lighten up. It's always gonna lighten up about a good 30%. So we're gonna create that undertone. Now with the second session, we're gonna determine do we need more of the undertone or is it dark enough to where we can go ahead and start to replicate the little dots of hairs that are poking out of the skin. Whatever you gotta do to make sure it looks real good. So my whole goal is to educate people on what SMP is supposed to look like, how it has to be done, not how it should be done. 
Those of you guys that asked about pain, oh, I was giving it a three out of 10. I'm gonna stay right around that range. I might up it to a four. Again, four out of 10, and I'm a punk when it comes to pain. It's just not even pain, it's more like a lack of comfort in some areas, but. feel a little more than others. Yeah, other than that, man, for the, for the majority, I'm relaxed, laid back. And look, get close on there. See, ain't no blood. Look at, when I'm wiping, what I'm wiping is the excess ink that sits on top of the skin. There's no blood whatsoever. So with SMP, if the client is bleeding, it's either because they digging too deep in the head, or they may be on like blood thinners and stuff like that. Or, or they were just drunk the night before. <laughs> so there's no scabbing involved. There's no nothing crazy. You're not gonna look crazy like you know when people get hair transplants. They got bandages all over the head and all that stuff. That's another question I get too. But yeah, with this is instant results, guaranteed instant results. You're gonna walk in here bald and leave here looking like you got a full head of hair. I'm gonna apply a little bit of this anti-shine moisturizing cream. It's gonna take away a little bit of that glare and it moisturizes the skin. So this is something like I'll apply it now just for like the video and pictures and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But you should wait till you're fully healed to be able to use it, you know, frequently. And I would always say, just use it like when you're going out somewhere special, you know what I'm saying? Right. You wanna look extra, extra fresh. Cause what it does, it, it does clog the pores a little bit. That's how it like takes that shine away, but it does make the SMP pop. Yo, that's tough. Hey, yes, sir. Hey, what you guys think, huh? What you guys think? What we thinking? Oh, man. That's clean. Yeah, that's real clean. From all angles, too. <laughs> yeah, every angle. Hey, oh, I don't like it, man. I'm cheesing too hard, though. Hey, the big, yeah. Appreciate you changing life, man. Hey, much love, man. Hey, sir. Go. The work speaks for itself. It's the guy to go to, all right? Get out and get it done. Stop thinking about it. If you're contemplating it, let this be the push that you need to get out there, get a session done, and get it done from him. You know what I'm saying? Jesse Lee himself. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Let's go. We just took a couple pictures, you know, after photos. Um, a little awkward, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a supermodel or nothing, so I was just like, you know what I'm saying? It's a little, a little smooth with it. Now we're gonna do the aftercare. Shout out to the cameraman, man. All the angles and stuff, bro. Y'all, his socials are right here, man. Y'all make sure you go hit him with Check a follow. Yes, sir, he's a go. You need to follow. So with every client, man, I always give them, I make sure to provide you guys with the aftercare because I want you to make sure you take care of it the way it has to be taken care of. All right, so look, so in here, the Revive Aftercare Cream. My impressions. This cream right here, you're gonna use this every day, twice a day. It's gonna moisturize the skin, it's gonna disinfect your skin, it's gonna create a, a coat that's gonna protect it, because right now your scalp's wide open. Right. So you can't get an infection. So you need something that's gonna kind of create a little barrier so bacteria stuff doesn't get in there. It has natural SPF, it's 100% organic. So it has natural SPF, so it's gonna protect you from the sun and stuff like that. So even long term, you could always use this right. to, to protect it from the sun. Then you have the soap right here. Just use this until you run out. You're gonna lather this in your hand. So tonight, you're just gonna rinse with water, apply a little bit of the cream. Starting tomorrow, you start using the soap. Lather it in your hands, and just wash your scalp with it every single day. And the ingredients in this, and this is the same thing. This is black because it has volcanic ash. Volcanic ash cools toxins off the skin, so that means your skin's gonna be a lot healthier. Fancy. And then inside of here, you also got the aftercare card too, so you got my number, so you can always reach out, but in case you forget, you need the instructions on how to take care of it. Not just right after, but long term. Yeah, you go. You got the whole package right here. No pressure. One last thing, bro, that I'm gonna give you. This right here, this is that anti-shine that I was telling you about. So by blends, this is the mattifying moisturizing cream. You're gonna apply this on there first, just a tiny bit. And then after you apply this, this is gonna lock in the moisture into your skin. Then you're gonna apply some of the anti-shine cream. This right here dulls it down completely. So that real glass shine that you that you normally would get like when you shave completely bald, For sure. it'll eliminate that. You'll still get like, like a natural shine. I mean, obviously your skin. Right. But it's not that like real glass type. Right, right, right. Know? Only use it when you're going out. 
know what I'm saying? Right. We don't have to use it on a daily basis. You got something special going on, bro. Use this stuff right here, and it's just gonna make this a good pop. Fantastic. Absolutely. Let's see, man. I'll take it, boys. Appreciate you again. Appreciate you, man. Make sure you guys go check out Jesse on Instagram. Hit him up if you're looking to get a session done. 6E dot Jesse Lima. J E S S E L I M A. Yes, sir. All right, this is what it's looking like in the whip. Let me know what you guys think. We're going with a little fade here, you know, in fades as we go out. You know, we're going to take the car right home. I'm going to let you guys know how it looks. Of course, we're going to do a little update. Shout out to the boat one more time. He gave y'all all the angles. Yeah, let me know what you think. We'll get up close and personal for y'all. Yes, sir. Had to get a little bit of food before we get all the way to the crib. This is how it looks indoors. What are we thinking? All right, let's get back on the road. I took a three hour drive back home. This is how it's looking. The redness is going down. There it is, you know, it fades a little bit as we go back. What do you guys think? Of course, this is the same day that I got the procedure, so I will update you guys when it fully heals. All right, so I've been editing my video. It's been a few days, so I figured I would just update you guys right here, right now. This is how it's looking. I just got out the shower and put some aftercare products on. That's why it's looking a little shiny. But I don't know if it's looking like a fade that much. You know, it's more like a touch-up, which I'll take a touch-up. Looks pretty good to me. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. I go live on Twitch every day, twice a day. So if you're ever wondering, like a week from now, two months from now, hey, how's my three inches hairline looking? You can join my Twitch live. As long as you're following me, I don't mind showing anybody my hairline tattoo. I also post TikTok videos. I post hair loss content there as well. That's Marthrinas underscore on TikTok. Also, if you want to DM me personally, do that on Instagram. So hit me with a follow on Instagram. DM me with any personal questions. Make sure you check out Jesse Lima. If you're going to get a hairline tattoo, if you mention one of my videos, he'll give you a discount. Other than that, thank you so much for your time. Have a blessed day. Deuces.